Hello everyone! Today's lesson is going to be all about acorns. Right there. Acorns. Squirrels like acorns. We're going to learn a song called I'm an Acorn, but before that we're going to do a lot of movement. So make sure you find somewhere at home where you can move a lot and very freely without hurting yourself, others, or breaking things. And stuff like that. Yeah, be careful. I hope you were able to find a spot at home. Um, you are going to be doing a lot of different things. Um, and you're going to be reacting to what you hear on the piano. So every action is going to have a sound that goes with it. At first, I'm going to help you by saying what action you have to do, but then you just have to listen. These are all movements that an acorn would do while it's falling off of a tree and then falling into the ground. So you're going to pretend like you are an acorn while you do all of these movements. First, we have roll. For roll, you're actually going to go on the ground and roll over. And this is the sound that you're going to hear every time I want you to roll. When you hear that, you're supposed to roll on the ground. Next is twirl. This is what twirl sounds like. Actually, all of these actions are for you to interpret. So whatever movement you think looks like twirling, then that's what you will do. Next is zigzag. We also have spiral. This one's gonna be a little bit longer so you can get really creative with it. Skipping. down like an acorn on the ground. It sounds like this. And hop, which sounds like this. Let's start first with spiraling down from the tree. Once you're on the ground, you hop. And maybe you skip because it's downhill. Do you remember this one? It was twirl. Oh, and then you tumble. Maybe you zigzag. Sig Hop. Tumble down again. And since you're already on the ground, we are going to roll. Let's see if you can remember the sounds. That was skip. Twirl. down the journey of the acorn has ended. Now we're going to actually start learning the acorn song. So first we're going to clap and speak the rhythms that you see. Take a look at this. We are in 4-4 which means there are four beats per measure. 
there are two measures and a repeat sign at the end. So when we're done, we're going to repeat this line. Let's start at the beginning, clapping and speaking with circular clapping. One, two, three, go. Super duper easy rhythms. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to point this time at the notes for you. I want you to keep clapping and speaking the uh, rhythm syllables. Ready? Go. Repeat. Now we're going to add the solfa. But before we do that, let's just quickly, quickly warm up our voices. So please repeat after me. And let's echo some patterns using uh, the notes that we know. So can you sing? So, so, me, me. Me, so, so. Now that we have practiced these notes, um, I think you can have an, a better idea of what the song is going to sound like. The first note is me. So what we're going to do is we're going to speak the notes in rhythm, saying me so instead of ta and titi, like this. Ready, go. Mi so so la mi so so. Mi so so la mi re do. Repeat. Mi so so la mi so so. Mi, so, so, la, mi, re, do. And now we're going to sing it. This is your first note. It's me. I want to see if you can try singing it on your own. I'm going to sing a few notes for you. The first two notes are mi, so, but you have to figure out the rest on your own. Ready, go, now. Mi, so. Let's try that one more time. I know we did it without the repeat, but that's okay. One more time. You try it on your own. Ready? Here we go. Mi, so. Mi, so. Now let's sing it all together. Goes like this. Mi, so, so. Awesome! We are ready now to add the words. If you look, what we did was we put the notes from stick notation into the staff. Remember, the staff has five lines and four spaces in between, and that means that in this key, me is going to be on the second space. So if this note is me, this is so. Let's look at the song and sing it with the note names, not the words yet, and do the hand signs. I'll point for you. Ready? Here we go. Mi so so na mi so so mi so so na mi re do mi so so na mi so so mi so so na mi re do. 
awesome. Now, let's do it with the words. Let's see if we can try reading the words and just putting the music to it without me saying it to you and you repeating back. Here we go. I'm an acorn, small and round, lying on the cold, cold ground. Everybody walks on me, that is why I'm cracked, you see. How did you do? Let's try repeating after me. Let's do it measure by measure. My turn, your turn. I'm an acorn, small and round. Lying on the cold, cold ground. Everybody walks on me. That is why I'm cracked, you see. Let's sing the whole no the whole song. Here we go. I'm a nickel, small and brown, lying on the cold, cold ground. Everybody walks on me. That is why I'm cracked, you see. The next part is the ending, and it's the best part. It goes like this. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. So can you repeat after me? Can you say, I'm a nut. I'm a nut. And you do that four times. So let's sing the whole song. Ready? Here we go. I'm a acorn, small and brown, lying on the cold, cold ground. Everybody wants on me. That is why I'm cracked, you see. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Now you know the full acorn song. Next week, we're going to add an ostinato to it. So I hope you remember what an ostinato is, and I will be asking you probably to create your own. So start thinking about some possibilities this week. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.